This week's the GoFly Fix. We have Digby, Woo! obviously myself, Damien. Uh, we're going to be talking today about how we're managing to uh, operate the business during the corona uh, epidemic. Uh, flight schools, because they come under the term uh, training education, if you can't do it at home, you, we can still operate. Uh, some flight schools have made a decision to close down. We've made a decision to keep operating. And the main reason is uh, that I made this decision, obviously, you know, when you're operating a business, cash flow is important, but I also understand that the coronavirus will not be going away in a hurry. Uh, until they've got a vaccine, it could be two to three years before we see uh, the eradication of coronavirus. So obviously it's not practical to shut a business down for two or three years. Uh, so the next most practical thing we can do is to have mitigation processes in place. So at a very minimum at our flight school, all instructors have to wear uh, uh, our masks, either a surgical or other, some other type of mask. Uh, providing it doesn't impede their airflow, and uh, as you can see, the microphone works very well with the Bose headset. Yep. The student does have an option, they can or cannot, don't, don't have to wear masks, but they can if they choose to. Obviously, today we're both choosing to wear masks. Yeah. I found the paper um, surgical disposable mask, uh, sorry, medical disposable mask is the easiest to wear in the cockpit. Um, you can breathe easily, mm. picks up the microphone well. It's not too hot either. Not too hot. And yeah, it doesn't impede your vision either for flying. Mm. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't look very cool. I think we look pretty cool. But if it keeps us flying, um, <laughs> that's the coolest it, thing of all. Yeah, and safe as far as virus-wise, it's worth it. All right, everyone, while well, Damien's busy uh, climbing the aircraft and making sure we're safe in this very, very busy airspace, uh, just a big shout out to all the Recreational uh, Aviation Australia um, flight schools out there. This video is is for you guys um, so that you can see how you can continue to run your business if you choose so uh, during this time. So um, stay strong and stay safe, everybody. Now, obviously, we're all going to be impacted in some degree. A lot of the students who are flying with us have lost their jobs, or they're uncertain about their jobs, so they're, they're choosing not to spend. But there's still a lot of customers out there who still want to continue to learn to fly. Yep. And it's important that we still look after those customers and look after our own instructors. You know, if our instructors can work safely in this environment, this corona environment, then I believe we should be doing all we can to one, lower the risk and keep them flying so we can keep their income coming through, we can keep their uh, mortgages um, and their, all their rent uh, and their families being paid as well. So another reason why I believe you know flight schools should stay open if they can, um, to keep you know there's, there's private pilots or pilots looking to build hours for the commercial. You know the longer they they um, leave it between flights, the more expensive it is for them um, to get current again. Virus now obviously currency keeps you safe, um, and if you have a large gap between flying, you'll need a lot more dual training to get you back up to that safe currency again. So uh, this, I, I believe if you're a flight school out there and you're wondering, you know, should I stay open or should I close, until the government tell you otherwise, and obviously if the government tells us to close, that's fine, yep. we'll close, then I, I believe the sensible approach is to take as much mitigation process, just as we do flying, to try and uh, mitigate our risk, uh, to put in processes, processes in place um, that reduce the chances of us getting coronavirus, yep, correct. like we're seeing now. Thanks for joining uh, Digby and I on uh, Go Fly Online today. If, if you are interested in learning to fly, uh, please uh, contact your local flight school. If you want to know where the flight schools are located, go on to the Recreational Aviation Australia website. Just Google Recreational Aviation Australia. Uh, starting to fly, learn to fly through Recreational Aviation Australia is a great way uh, to be introduced to flying, whether it's for fun or career. Uh, and if you're a flight school out there and wondering uh, how, how we've managed to operate uh, during this corona uh, pandemic, please feel free to give GoFly Aviation a call as well. Uh, we're happy to give you some of the tips of, of what we're doing to mitigate um, the risks uh, of, uh, of catching the virus. Um, other than that, happy and safe flying. And please uh, have a look at GoFly Online and subscribe or look at our YouTube channel, GoFly Online, and subscribe. And uh, see you next week. Thanks a lot.